to the board, clear out uh, the issues, see what the latest is. Uh, really excited to hear from Pedro and, and see if there's any blockers to clear out and then, you know, whatever you guys want to uh, hang out on. Looks like Mosaidi and Marco have probably something on the mobile version, so that'll be interesting to see what they see what their thoughts are. And I'll pass it to Mitch. Uh, distractions, smoothie. Um. Yeah, just here to see what's going on with development and any way I can help. And my distractions is hunger. Um, I'll give it to Marco. Thanks, Mitch. Hello, everyone. Uh, my intentions for the call, just getting updates on whatever's left to do. Uh, maybe discuss a little bit uh, the, the mobile version, uh, if something needs to be clarified. Distractions. Um, I'm coughing <coughs> a lot, and so I'm gonna probably stay on mute. Uh, and uh, you know, deep deep into Figma work, so I'll be multitasking over here. Uh, pass it over to Olivia. Hey, I just realized this is not a param party, right? Is the param call? Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can, yeah, you can stick around if you want or not, whatever. Okay, thank you. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll come back for the next for the next party. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Cheers. Let's pass it to Laura. Right. Oh, my intentions are just to hang out and um, just see what's going on. Uh, I'm, my distractions are. I mean, I'm going to work on other work in the meantime. But uh, yeah, just here to sync up mostly. I'll pass it to Nugget. Hey, yeah, well, there's just just sync up, see if, uh, if there are any blockers and how I can help. And distractions, none. In like 45 minutes, I'll probably change to to mobile, but uh, that's it. And I'll pass to Peter. Hey, guys. Yeah, my intentions are to just check out with the final issues that we have. Then uh, uh, I change a few things to, uh, and Pedro is finishing a few things in the front end, but just catching up and get sure that like we don't have any any issue uh, for now and yeah checking out the next steps and i'm a little bit hungry as well so that's my distraction and i'll pass to pedro hey guys so my intention today is to to finish an issue regarding the animations uh, and i have to see the mobile development that we have on figma and my distraction is that I'm hungry too, and the lunch is almost ready, so probably I, will I skip a little bit to it, but I will be back soon. And I will pass to Mozart. I guess you mean me. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, so, uh, hi everyone. Uh, no distraction. I just want to uh, see the loop and also um, see if. Um, Actually, Mosaidi, your your oh. mic is kind of trailing out sometimes. I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, it's good when you speak really loud. When you when you when you when you're saying oh, like hold that, on a second. Really well. <laughs> yeah. No. I, still, I still think we need you to speak pretty loud, but it'll work. I um, Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, that's way better. Way better. Uh, okay. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with my uh, uh, Mac, probably the new update, but I was saying that um, um, there is no distraction. I am just uh, want to stay in the loop and also uh, want to uh, know if, if, if there is any update from the developers regarding the mobile version design on, on Figma. And I guess everyone's uh, done. La Lauren? Yeah. No, oh, okay. um, uh, I'll pass, pass it to Mitch, Mitch then, I guess. I think Zepti still has to go. Or did Mitch, do you go already? Oh, OK, my bad. I did go. Pass to Zepti. No, thanks, Mitch. Yeah, my intention is just to keep in the loop, uh, see the last test updates. I don't know how funny distraction. Uh, regarding the QA, is that considered complete or do you need some more uh, testing? Yeah, just that. 
Uh, yeah, back to grief, what we thought. This is definitely, the, I'll take it. This is definitely the best time to do testing. Oh my God, if you have any issues when you're doing these param parties, please tell us. Um, this is like the last week where we can really fix something that will have a major impact on people. So like, I would say, yes, we still need QA, but just like, you know, um, just go through and make issues in GitHub. Uh, okay. Speaking of issues in GitHub, maybe we'll start there. Uh, looks like we're, we got everything done. And we'll just, oh, I need to share screen. So the board is in GitHub, and I can actually, maybe I'll even share a link to the board if you guys want to follow along in the Prams channel. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, let's, so let's get into it. Add a few more, more lines to the DAO voting table. Oh, oh, merged. Does that mean it's in there? That's done, that's done. Nice. Uh, did you guys just do a merge like today? Yeah, I merged a few minutes be before the meeting, like 30 minutes or so. Well, aren't you tricky? <laughs> uh, cool. Oh, come on, friend. What's next? Oh no, the what's next button doesn't want to work for me. Anyone else have that issue? I can't even, I can't, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't, same here, same here. I'll just go straight to where we want to go. Yeah, there it is. Time to review a delegate vote. No extension nine. Uh, this is this is not correct. I think the table looks uh, the table looks transposed. This should be seven nine eleven three five seven. I think you're the table transposed. Let me check this one minute. With two extensions is actually time to execute a passing proposal. With no extension, it would be seven and a half days. With one extension, it'd be nine and a half days with two extensions. These yeah, middle you're ones. Right. I will I will change that one minute. Please. Perfect. There you are. Well I might distract you. I might distract you. So let's see what else we got. Oh wow! You transposed the C V table too. Let's check it out. Nice! Oh, that's so exciting. That's so great. Tokens needed to pass right here. Okay, cool. That looks great. Man, I can't wait till we can add um, proposals there. That's going to be really fun. It's too easy to lose your issue. Make the issue button something else. Uh, looks like you are emerged. Oh my gosh. I'm checking a way to speed up this loading part, part here because it's taking too long sometimes. You know, I think it's okay if we maybe oh yeah there it is that's great check your submission and then if i click here it goes away excellent that's great uh i i think it's actually okay maybe we just need some text that says like simulating the future your 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 design your economic design or something like that you know something cool that's like Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing's doing some work in the back end, you know, kind of like, I mean, we had it so good for the for the commons simulator. It was like, you know, calculating this, you know, estimate, you know, calculating, uh, you know, global impact dot dot dot. Oh, that was so good. You know, if we just added something like that. I, I think it's OK that it takes a while. 
It makes it the app feel like it's really doing something. Uh, I don't know. Does anyone else have an opinion on that? Should we just add some lines of text? Obviously, if we can make it faster, that's better too, but... I don't think it's like a high pride thing, honestly. I agree. We can just, yeah, we can just put a label like crunching it or something, whatever. Yeah. I mean, if it's if it's easy to do, then fine. If it's at all complicated to add text there, then yeah, it's not worth it. But uh, okay, well, well, that's dressing on the cake. Let's see what else we got. Uh, table one module is not very useful. Adding months. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Three months, six months, nine months, one year. Let's see. Yep, that looks right. Um, cool. Is it? Uh, it's fine to have these here, but is it hard to remove them? The like extra extra amounts. Uh, maybe Pedro. No, or Pedro. I don't get what you say. Like, what do you so, what do you want to do? So, like, uh, in, in the issue, there's this like. Uh, Bonus points, we only need to show the first 100% on the dashboard. For the GitHub okay. issues, they all be there, but for the, is it is it hard to hide the excess rows or is it really easy? No, I think it's easy. I think uh, if I just don't send it, you will not display it, right, Pedro? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I, I can fix that. Ah, sweet. Okay, cool. So going for bonus points. Mm -hmm. Okay, ABC and CV and other charts have text overlap. Nice. Let's see what's happening when I like resize. That's a little weird, but at least it's not overlapping. Look at that. Man, it's so weird. I guess this will probably be fixed in the mobile version, right? I, we're not estimating people really get that small. I would call it. Mm. Final summary page. Image QA. Fixed min percentage of tokens in the CV box. Yeah, I think most of these I already checked. It's this. Nice. Okay, cool. How does that look to you, um, Mitch? I think you had some thoughts on this. Which part exactly, Griff? The minimum percentage. The, the token freeze, token thaw. Uh, the minimum percent of tokens need to pass in conviction voting. Like the location of it. Uh, I was muted the whole time. Damn it. Yeah, it looks like your streams, you're frozen actually. Your oh, really? streams frozen and you're frozen. I don't know if that's just me. I can see Marco still. No, it's not you. Yeah, I, I can't see I can't see Griff's screen, so it's not loading for me. I know he's been having issues with Discord. Yeah, me too. Because y'all got Max. Yes. He had a PC. But I ordered a new one. <laughs> uh, so what, by the way, every time I, 
Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Marco. Sorry. Yeah. No, I mean, like, every time there's a, like, a video call uh, on Discord, uh, everything starts running super slow on my computer. Mm, and so I'm having a lot of issues there. Okay, well, maybe, did anyone catch what he was talking about exactly? Because I got it here. Does anybody remember the issue? Sorry about that. So, did you, did you guys go through this minimum percent of token needed to pass? Oh, here we go. You got it here. Minimum percent of tokens needed to pass. I mean, is it possible to get it up at the, the top here as opposed to in the center down here? I mean, I don't know. What do you think, Mitch, Marco? I just think it looks like this like floating box, and I don't quite understand what it's related to. Like, I know what it is, but it's like this, this floating box, and it's like, okay, is it talking about the line? What floating yeah, box? You mean the, the yep. timeline, the seven days in a week? Path. Right, so it's just like this floating box of text in the graph. Oh, that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does that refer to? Yeah, it's a good question. Should it mm -hmm. be placed somewhere else? This is the box that I asked you're, it. Uh, you're, muted. you're muted. Looks like he's chewing. Yeah, but I was also talking. I talk with my mouth full. I'm impolite. What can I say? Um, the, the line is the minimum percent of tokens needed to pass. But we don't have a way, correct me if I'm wrong, Pedro, but we don't have a way to actually connect, like, have awareness of where the line is. Um, you know, it's, it's like, for, for all intents and purposes, it's a black box, and the line's going to show up somewhere in the box, and we have to place this tag somewhere, you know? Or we yeah, have to... Yeah? Yeah, sorry, can we move it like, to the far right? Because... If it's if it's next next to the x or y axis, it may someone might think it's something referred to that. If we move it on the far right and maybe top right somewhere, uh, regardless of of like if if the, if the line you know goes um, through this uh, tooltip or not, doesn't matter. But as long as it says like whatever you like see on this uh, graph here. Um, means like this is the minimum percent of the tokens needed to pass so like moving it far right or somewhere top right maybe i i like top right i like top right i think that makes sense is it, is that possible pedro to move this box just to the top right yes it is nice okay cool I had an, I had an idea for this issue here. Um, is what if we just move the box altogether and just modify the header? Because the box is kind of referring to the the graph as a whole in a way, or like relative to the x-axis. Visualize the unique dynamics of conviction and the relative requirements for successfully requesting funds. Mm -hmm. I have to say this is a very complicated sentence to understand, especially not for native but native speakers. So, like, if you can kind of rephrase this in kind of plain English, maybe, or or dump English or something like that. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So then. And then also. Go ahead, Marco. 
yeah sorry and then also like if we can squeeze in this in there in this sentence like minimum percent of tokens needed to pass like you know just explaining that this graph is showing it in the brackets maybe or a smaller font delete like, title i don't know just a suggestion analyze this graph to see the minimum percent of tokens needed to pass proposal yeah, that's 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 I more even, understandable to me. I wouldn't even say analyze though. It's like this graph. the The line shows the minimum percentage of token needs to pass. It was something very direct and clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because yeah. it's like, even what the better. hell is this yellow? What the hell is this yellow line? You know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what I think. Like maybe we could just get rid of this whole box debate and just rework the header. I would agree. Okay. okay, Pedro. I guess not. I guess we delete the box. Delete the box, and then Mitch will take the rest of this issue. Right, Mitch? Yeah, that's your problem. Okay, the fun one. So, uh, what's the progress on this? Sorry, I cannot hear your. Okay. Uh, yeah, like in the back end, I'm working it locally, but not sure, like, I think Pedro can say about this in the front end. I'm just waiting the back end to be done. I can start coding it because the front end will not be much time. But I think that I can put my effort on other parts because if I just uh, do this and we don't have the back, it's going to be useless. So yeah, it's this. So is is the back end ready for it, Vitor? Yeah, like probably today I'll, I'll be able to finish because I need to check a few things with Pedro, but then we can take it. Nice. Okay. Well, I'll take Marco off of it because I'm pretty sure the design is done. And, uh... oh, that's right. This is, uh, so this is, it's in the back end. It's a back end issue to start, but uh, maybe I'll just transfer it over. Feeling especially bureaucratic, but why not? <clears throat> um. I think we're moving this to sprint backlog, and all the text is there, so that's great. Oh yeah, add design graphics. I saw some action on this. This is cool. Yeah, currently this is on a PR that is not finished yet because I have to add the design graphics on the uh, intro dialogues models. But we are we we have the the intro and the learn part already uh, already done. So you can see the, the animations and the designs on the the sites. Uh, yeah. If you want, I can send you a, a preview. I, you, you already did. I'm cheating. So I'll just jump. Uh -huh. I have it here. You can see. Ooh, they move. Oh, look at that. Some action. That's pretty fun. I tried to show the mid to, to Fabio, but the connection was bad. I don't know if you're I can see you on score. <laughs> yeah, is it bright enough for you guys to see the little changes? The graphics moving? Oh, pretty. Okay. Cool. I don't see it. 
moving. You guys couldn't see it? Uh, well, I already closed it, but basically it's like the little, the little graphic will move when you click to the module. These little background things. It's very much in the background. You almost can't see it, but it definitely adds a, a nice quality to the, to the app. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, and now we're in the mobile version. Um, I don't know. Did you want to talk about this, uh, Marco? Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so the mobile version, we had less a small discussion on Discord um, about the priorities of the mobile version. So I just wanted to clarify that um, we wanted to start designing the mobile version, um, especially the the modules, and see how this how this can even be done, right? Um, and we made some progress on there um, that we already shared. Mosady Mo worked on this, so Mo worked on the uh, on the solutions for that. Um, and we would like to move forward uh, with um, like continue continue preparing other modules for for mobile views, uh, regardless of. Um, how soon are we going to start developing that, or if if we're going to develop this for for you know uh, for this release, right? So um, I would like everyone to review that uh, and also give feedback on um, on on the priorities or uh, or on when we should start building the mobile version, if at all, for this release. Uh, I think it's a great idea, and the mock-ups that you showed were actually pretty slick. Um, but I wanted to just bring up the issue of resource allocation. Once the MVP is done, do we keep polishing um, this dashboard? after we have an MVP, or do we use the resources of the working group to um, finish building the other things we need to launch the commons? Right? Sorry, my computer froze. I don't know. Discord is not being my friend today. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would agree. I think, I, I think it's really nice to have the mobile version uh, for the next iteration of this dashboard. But in the end, we won't be able to use the mobile version uh, for very long, like, I don't know how long it would take to develop, but we're already, like, already in the flow of designing the parameters, so I feel like um, we can deprioritize the mobile version uh, development, but while we're in the thick of it, I think it's really great to, to have it um, so that for the next round, it's already there. Mm -hmm. But I guess for you, Marco, before you get too far ahead, and Mo Saeed, um is just like the technical validation, like you said? Yeah. So uh, the technical validation from the front-end developers, mainly because um, Mo, you can fill in here, but uh, we try to kind of like make it responsive, reuse all the, uh, the elements, the containers, and everything else, uh, not mess around too much and not make it too hard for the front-end developers to implement. But we still need the validations from them uh, to check it out, to see if, um, you know, how uh, how easy or hard it is to implement, right? And that is mainly the first, uh, the first module uh, and the solution that uh, Mo was working on. So guys, if you can just take a look at that, uh, leave your feedback in, in the Figma, say yes, no, uh, or, you know, do this other way around, or this is hard, this is easy, or you know, doable, not doable, whatever, um, so that we can then continue applying the same uh, solution to the rest of the modules uh, and prepare the prototype. Um, when it comes, so you know, front end developers, please check it out um, and leave your comments in the Figma. Um, 
when some design resources free up, we would like to continue with that. Uh, it's not our priority as well, but we do maybe have a little bit more resources sometimes. So we just want to use them, right? Um, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, and I, I think um, along those lines, we should probably be preparing for like more of a white label version for the next round. Like maybe making it so that the next commons can easily input their, you know, the instead of the TC logo, they put in their logo. Um, yeah. And that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So one of my goals or ideas with uh, actually having like a complete package uh, with this uh, dashboard is to have a mobile version as well. And for the very same reason that you're mentioning here. So, uh, you know, in the future, some other DAOs may be using this. Uh, you know, everything is open source. So um, if they want to use the dashboard as is or modify or whatever, and then like we have we have both the, the, the desktop, desktop version, but also the mobile version ready. Uh, I think it's a huge plus for everybody, you know. So for that reason, I wanted to... Um, I initiated this uh, this work, um, and I would like to complete it. Totally. Uh, if I may add something here, um, the, the for, for the mobile version, the uh, the introduction and the landing page are um, actually done. There, there isn't any um, confusion around them, and and also if you need to change them, it, it's so easy. But for the uh, config module, um, we have to think uh, before um, starting uh, start developing that because it's kind of complicated and and we are uh, um, limited to the mobile size and we have to um, move things around a little. Uh, for for the introduction, it's kind of just um, a responsive version. It, it, it's a smaller. Uh, version it, it's not so complicated but for the config module um it's kind of a little bit um messy and 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 uh, and, and me and marco that that's where we, are, we want the developers opinion to know if it is possible to to do the um the, the, the config module uh the way that i uh did it, it's a little bit down um on the left yeah left 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 yeah, that's right. Yeah, there, there. Um, if if I just want to um, add some um, hint here, um, when when user uh, reach to the point that they need to to go to the config, um, we have we, we force them to turn around their phone because uh, we we couldn't actually. Uh, show anything, uh, the, the, especially the charts in the portrait mode, and we ha and, and they have to uh, turn your turn their phone to to the landscape, and then in the landscape, it's kind of like um, like an application. Um, we we have to uh, move things around. Uh, for example, you can't see config uh, when when you open. This screen, you you have to tap on the config button, then another screen appear, and you can see the options uh, and also the preview uh, for the charts. Uh, it, it's kind of um, a little bit um, changed from the way it will be visible on the desktop. That's um, that's because we we can't. Um, I mean, if, if I want to actually add um, the scroll, uh, the horizontal or a vertical scroll, it's kind of uh, harder for user to to move around, uh, especially with the um, charts visible on the screen. Uh, that's why I, I try to um, uh, let user um, appear and disappear things by, by clicking on um, menu or buttons there and, and not a scrolling at all. So we're looking for technical validation. What do you think, Pedro, Vitor? What do you think? Does this seem like it's not something we're going to do right away, but does it at least seem like a direction that would work? 
Yeah, so... like I think Pedro has more to say <laughs> because he's the front end guy. So the intro and learn part is quite awesome. The design, I was concerned about the part because it's like uh, he said, it's too much information to put on the screen. I like the idea that we have uh, mock-up to the to use the phone on the landscape mode, but uh, I don't know if the user will be able to to see the information because the the chart will be small and you have to zoom in and zoom out every time that he wants to check some kind of information there. Maybe if we on the on the screen that we have below, maybe if, if we change the so he can see the per parameters that he can change and then the table here. I think that the table is a little bit easier to fit. And then he can click on the button to see this just the chart on the screen. But the other concern that I have is I don't know if, if this is the kind of app that you use on a, on your mobile phone, you know. Maybe on a on a tablet or something like that, but I can't imagine someone on the street like now I will use this, this app right now. But I think that the, the idea is it's cool and the design is, is going to the right place. Uh, I, I just like to thanks thanks Pedro for the comments and feedback. Um, yeah, so I I guess uh, mobile to tablet uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's it pretty nice to scale, so that's that's fine. But since we're covering tablet, uh, why not cover the mobile as well? What we'd like to know here, and especially I would like to know from the technical side. Uh, if you notice the side panel, uh, you know the config panel. Uh, you have we have additional buttons. It kind of appears from from the from the left side. Uh, some other elements are hidden and are just triggered. I just want to know, and you don't have to answer right now. And maybe you can take a little la later on. But like, how does that have any implication on on the current front end code and the structure that you have built so far? Uh, just take a look at it. Review that. Uh, and then see if, like, if we start implementing the mobile version, how much of that would you need to change on a desktop version in order to to modify, uh, in order to, to to make this happen on the mobile version? You know what I mean? Um, or are we gonna have like a completely separate uh, separate mobile version that will be served, which I I don't think we're gonna be doing. But anyway, from from the technical side side of things. Just take a look how things are arranged uh, and what are the interactions and whether uh, you can actually uh, actually reuse the the elements that we currently have on a desktop version in order to to make the mobile version as it is presented here in, in, in designs. As far as I look at the the intro learn part, we can reuse all the components that we already have. So probably I have to build one or two specific but it's not gonna do too much work and the other elements on the part I think that it's almost the same you know the way that we uh, Fabio and I did the charts and everything I think that we can reuse most of the of, of the stuff maybe we will have to do some buttons buttons but this is the easy easiest part you know the main problem is if we have to remove some kind of table or or, or something like that but I think that the way that you guys did, you can use the stuff that we already have. Okay. When when we do the um, uh, confuse, which is really learn more, when we when we have the learn more thing and they click it, will it automatically rotate the phone? Is that something that happens like for the learn more um, things? Like you can just like automatically rotate the phone so they can read it like this. Or will that be a weird user experience? Um, actually, for uh, for this part, it, it's kind of um, it, it's not so weird and it's not so normal to 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 uh, read things on landscape mode. But um, it, it, it's kind of just um, text are um, a little bit wider. Uh, you can turn your phone and, and you can see it on, on portrait. But for the config. You can't see anything at all on the portrait. That that's the uh, um, 
difference between them, but I, I guess it's normal um, on the landscape to read things. Um, what do you think, Mark? Yeah, so, so for the learn an uh, introduction, it's pretty straightforward, just, just, just like a regular website. Uh, it can be portrait, it can be landscape, whatever. But as soon as the user comes to the, to the modules, we actually force them to turn to, uh, to landscape mode. Yeah, so, uh, and this is maybe even part of a larger UX journey in general because like no one they people refuse to read the learn module it doesn't matter eh, take 15 yeah. <laughs> never gonna happen right yeah. so in the end they always come to this and then they're like okay i'm trying to do this what the fuck is this token freeze thing okay confuse like learn more and so part of the user flow we have to assume they're going to click this learn more and they're going to pop over to here and i guess this would be okay in landscape and they'll flip it and then uh, and then they just go through the learn modules or then and then it goes when they click go to configuration it flips them back again so that the user is going to be spinning their phone a lot basically long story short. well not 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 really actually because um since it's built responsive uh if you're already in landscape and you're you're clicking learn more you will just be presented the, the learn modules uh, in the same landscape view, right? We're not forcing you to revert back, right? So you just continue reading. Uh, and once you're done, you just go back. So like if you're holding it in a landscape, that's just fine. Um, but like if you're holding it uh, in, in, a, in a portrait mode and coming to the, to the modules themselves, then we ask you to turn into the landscape. Okay. That's, that's basically it, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so just to, to sum it up, uh, we have validated the direction with front-end developers, although I would like Pedro to just take another look at it and give us like thumbs up uh, in the parameters channel uh, in, the, in the next few days um, or thumbs down with any comments or something that needs to be revised. Is that okay, Pedro? Yes, no problem. Thank you very much. I'll just add that. It's like adding it to the to-do list, you know? Uh, okay, so there is a new issue here. Responsiveness on the ABC is a little weird. Yeah, I could probably frame it better. Um, there is a lot of, uh, you know, I think there, there were even some issues here that kind of talk about it. It's just when you're dancing around in this, module and you're adding steps you know and you're like i'm gonna add not a step you know it's, it's kind of like slow and then it pops up eventually and you can you can kind of break it sometimes by doing stupid things i don't know it's just like it feels a little janky and i don't really know what else to say honestly because there's just like you know, lots of little things that will happen. You make this a 150 and then it doesn't really change. Then it kind of changes. And look, now it's like current price is $1, even though I put 150 in there. You know, and it's like there's just lots of like when you're playing with it, there's things that just go wrong. And I don't know. Uh, I think it's to do with that like auto update. Like, I mean, opening price is 150 current price is one dollar you know and it's like that doesn't happen all the time you know what i mean i don't i got lucky to kind of show it off in this in this round make some more tests uh and add some kind of other elements to to show to the user that we are currently loading something on the back end so when you add a step it's taking a little bit of time to to show the results 
so I can I can put that loading uh, component that we have. So wait a little bit, then we will have the response. And I will check this this error that you get. Change some parameters and don't reflect on the model. Because I think it. Yeah, it, I can I, also it, try to make it <laughs> faster, maybe, and then uh, it, if it doesn't take that long to load, maybe just uh, it doesn't. It feels a bit better. I can see if I can do something on that side. Yeah, because the ABCs they the have 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 this one that we have, so it's normal to take more to to answer back in answer us. Maybe we can try to to see if we can. Add some new uh, dinos on Heroku to make it faster or something like that. It's yeah, we can also do that. We can try to scale up the server as well, the backend server. That would be cool. I mean, I don't understand why it doesn't work all the time. It feels like it's just really quick to like judge sometimes what you're typing, and then it doesn't like do another check. Like I feel like maybe if it just did a second check, uh, a few seconds after the type, someone typed, and then like, I think uh, I think he waits for like you click off to to update it, right? Uh, input. Current price is 54 now. It was 73, now 75. What is happening? <laughs> it's $1.50. I don't understand, you know? And I think it's just like when you make a lot of changes all at once, it kind of just... Yeah, you see how I can manage this uh, queue of, of changes that we have to handle because one that is the last one that you did, so maybe I can, can implement some kind of logic to forget the other ones, you know. You know, you know what I think it is? I think it's this, like, the reserve balance is holding, uh, the, is, like, holding where you are on the design. And then, like, if you're at launch and you change this, you you it ends up showing you what this reserve balance is for this thing which mm -hmm. like i almost feel like every time it, a lot of it might be fixed if every time you reset the commons tribute you just go to the launch param and you 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 say okay let's go back to the launch scenario okay so, because I think that's what was happening. Like, because now it says 187, but it's because I'm not actually at the launch scenario. I'm at 630, but that's not actually what the launch amount is. So I go here and then go here. Now the launch amount is this 50K, 50, 50, or 500K. Okay. Yeah. So I will reset the reserve balance to launch every time that we change one of the parameters that ca that used to to calculate that. Yeah, and every any time they switch one of these parameters, well, let's see, does it work for? Uh, it's really if they switch the commons tribute. Is that the only one? I think it's only the commons tribute that you have to worry about if they change the commons tribute. But uh, if they change the other ones, well, no, because then it's still kind of weird. Yeah, OK. If they change the opening price or the commons tribute, you should just send them back to the launch view and reset the reserve balance to make sure that it's showing the launch view. OK. Just to, to be sure, but do you want me to cut this to two decimals because it's double X, double X die? That would be great. Okay. And actually, there's another. There was another um, issue that was like making this one two decimals as well, and really this this one two decimals. Like we're dropping the zeros. 
But like really, we should just show the zero because then it feels like dollars. Yeah, I remember that I fixed this in another place, but I will check all the, the places that we have uh, the box that we have died to see if, uh, if I can manage to to put to this mouse. Great. Uh, okay, well, uh, I think that's that's the the game. Um, maybe we can pass it around and just. Uh, everyone can kind of tell what they think about the dashboard uh, just to close it out. Uh, let me just say, this thing is blowing people's minds. I am like, uh, I'm, sh I'm showing it off to people left and right, and they're like, this is so cool. And the concepts that it incites and, and empowers for people is like, uh, I think they're being, re they're really impressed. Uh, I think when we're giving the param parties, we need to focus less on telling people what the things are, are and more like, uh, which is all defined in the learn modules, which Mitch told me about this, and I totally agree. And really just focus on letting people play with it, because that's when people get really excited. When they're playing with it, oh man, they're like, okay, now things start, synapses start connecting in their brain, and they're just like, holy shit, this is so cool. Uh, so that, that's been my experience with it. I'll pass it to Marco. What do you think of the dashboard? Um, I think uh, it can be improved, for sure. <laughs> uh, and I love it. I mean, generally, it's awesome. It's great. Uh, it, great work, everybody, uh, definitely. Uh, implementing all the designs, interactions, everything, um, you know, prime parties. Uh, I joined uh, one so far and it was really great to, you know, uh, click around and everything kind of makes a makes li little more sense to me uh, than, you know, previous dashboard that we had. Uh, so from, from that standpoint, I think it's great. We did a great job there. Uh, but yeah. Um, I may be a perfectionist or something like that, or, <laughs> or I, I always try to improve things. So I think um, next version will be even better. Yeah, I pass it over to Lauren, if you're there with us. <laughs> so I look really distracted. I'm here. <laughs> um, what do I think about the dashboard? I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. I like to include I'm really excited because on Thursday I'm going to lead a param party with the Kernel KB4 team. So it's like, a, I don't know, the people who are involved in Kernel. And I'm super excited to show it off. Griff showed it off like to the Kernel team before. And everybody who's not part of the TEC who sees it is like totally blown away. I mean, everybody in the TEC has been seeing it. So we're all like, yeah, yeah, nitpick, nitpick. But um, yeah, I, I think it's a really cool and useful tool. And just like the more fixes we, we do and the more intuitive and useful it gets to be. Um, yep, I, I, I'll pass it to um, Mitch or Marco, did you want to say something else? Yeah, I just wanted to ask, when is the Colonel Param party? It's on Thursday at 8 a.m. Costa Rica. 8 a.m. Um, Costa Rica, what's um, the... Actually, maybe it's 9 a.m. Costa Rica. I can tell you, I just, I'll, uh, I'll message you. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, I want to join this one, so um, if it's not late over here. All right. Yeah, okay. right. yeah, I think I like just what Griff was saying of being able to show it and see all the synapses connecting and really more and more of the insights that we get of the interconnectivity of all the different parts of it. And like I'm finding out it's way more pieces that actually work together than we first thought of when we started designing it. So that's really cool to see that progress. Um, and I will give it to Vitor. Yeah, uh, I, I really like it. And it's awesome to see like from the, the early designs and the early implementations and see like how it's evolving. So it's really awesome to see how, how it's getting. And yeah, I think there are a few things we can improve, but I think if we look like how far we got there, right, it's like an awesome dashboard. And yeah, can wait to see what can we also add to it. And now pass to Zapti. 
Thanks, Vitor. Yeah, I, I really like the dashboard. It's amazing. Like it gives people a lot of you know power to decide. One thing I would add for a second uh, iteration that I think it would be really helpful is in, in conviction voting. Like if we could add the number, you know, like now you can only see like six scenarios with 100K or 750K, 750K. So if we could uh, put the numbers we want, I think that would be super cool for, yeah, a next iteration. But overall, like, yeah, this is flow mining. It's so cool and people is enjoying it a lot. Yeah, I'll pass it to Juan. Yeah, um, I was mostly listening on the call, but um, I think that the dashboard um, is a really great tool, and that other people is going to use it um, um, in the in the future. So yeah, I'm super excited to see other iterations, uh, but this one is already really good, and um, I'll pass to Aloysius. issues. We cannot hear you. Yeah, sorry, Al. I was just I'm not hearing your mic. No, nope, still no dice. Uh, it's not showing up green on the on the side either. So maybe Pedro. Yeah. So I really ha happy with the app. I think that the last two months we have a huge improvement and we built something really huge. I agree with everybody that we have space to improve with the mobile version and a lot of the minor glitches that we have on the front end right now. But I'm really happy to see them right now. So yeah, I think that it's this. I don't know about the how the people interact with that because I don't know uh, too much about the, the stuff going behind of that, but really happy to see that experience in general is it's nice. So I will try to pass you and lose you again. La 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 la. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Griff. I was staring at my face to see if it turned green and then I saw you emoting. <laughs> um, I still haven't fiddled around at any of the parameters parties or gotten on a call to play with it myself, but I looked at the calendar and saw where some are coming up and I'm excited to get hands on because it, it like just watching it and looking at it doesn't do much for me I think going through the motions of it kind of like seals it all together and I still need that but I'm really excited to attend these and get the exposure and learn when I when I come here thank you I don't recall who's left do we I think Mo Saidi still needs to go right mm. um just checking can you hear me yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so um, I actually want to, uh, I, I'm not really um, um, expert on the config, uh, but I would like to see it on the prime party to see how uh, people are reacting to that. And um, just Marco was um, asking Lauren when it was going to happen, and I really just want to uh, join in. Uh, yeah, that's me. That's everyone. Uh, thank you so much, Mosaidi. And Zep, you're gonna be you're you're gonna you're in luck because we're actually building that this version that should be out hopefully next week. So that nice. feature will be there. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, and thank you all for for jumping in, and we'll see you at the next one.